Hamas, the militant group that governs the Gaza Strip, said on October 31st that it would release more foreign hostages in the coming days. Some countries have asked us through intermediaries to release foreign citizens held in Gaza. We received the request and have informed the intermediaries that Hamas will release a few foreign hostages in the coming days, spokesman Abu Obeda said. He did not specify which countries made the request or how many hostages would be released. On the Israeli army's announcement that it had rescued Staff Sergeant Ori Majidish during a night raid on Gaza, spokesman Obeda asserted that no hostages held by Hamas were rescued. As the female soldier may have been abducted by a militant group, Israel estimates that there are about 240 hostages being held in Gaza. Hamas has previously released for people two American citizens, two Israeli citizens. Since the weekend, the Israeli army has begun a small scale offensive to deplete enemy forces and identify the location of the hostages. This is not yet the large-scale ground offensive that they plan to carry out. The fate of the hostages has been a hot topic in Israel for the past three weeks. Under heavy public pressure, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on October 28 said that rescuing the captives was an essential part of the military campaign. On a par with the goal of wiping out Hamas. Also on October 31st, Bolivian Deputy Foreign Minister Freddy Mamoni announced the decision to cut ties with Israel to condemn the military offensive in the Gaza Strip. Bolivia called for a ceasefire and an end to the blocking of humanitarian aid to the region's residents. Bolivia's acting Foreign Minister, Maria Nela Prada, said the latest decision was related to crimes against humanity against the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli Foreign Ministry has not commented on the information. Bolivia cut ties with Israel in 2009 to protest the actions of the Middle Eastern country in the Gaza Strip, only to resume them in 2020.